to go. And I'm at the point in my Run Disney journey. Oh, do I want this like up here where the waist is? Maybe. Whatever. I'm at the point in my Run Disney journey where I'm recycling outfits. So I wore this actually for the 2021 Dopey Weekend. Marathon weekend, half marathon. And it's my little, um, I call it my Beauty and the Beast dress. It was from Amazon, so I'm not sure it's technically, I mean, right, Beauty and the Beast. Um, and I have vintage Beauty and the Beast ears on from BB Brooke. These are one of the first pairs I actually bought from her. Glow Bun, of course. Still trying out the sash method from Crown Athletics. Worked well yesterday for the 5K. And, uh, you know, the rest is, the rest is that. Uh, I grab my bag of goodies, throw on a jacket. Ooh, is it really 75 degrees out? No, I doubt it. <laughs> I have to look at the temperature. And, uh, be on my merry way. But let's go, let's go 10K. I'm bringing with me the same stuff as yesterday, uh, except I'm adding today one gel, uh, for mid-course. I know I'm walking, but... You know, people say you still you still got a fuel. And then I've got my throwaway and my gloves. And I don't know if I even need the gloves. I didn't need them yesterday. Um, poncho, I probably won't need. I'm going to wear this in the car. That is not a toss. That is not a donatable item. <laughs> and keys and chapstick for my pocket. Good morning. It's windy, so I don't want to talk to you too much. But I get parked in the same row as I did yesterday. I'm sorry about the wind. Here we go, I'm excited. Just me or is the spaceship Earth glitching a little bit? Or is it supposed to have those random lights on? I'm not sure. Goodness, do you know what I mean? That doesn't look like intentional. I feel like people are a little scared by the costume guidelines that they released, which really aren't any different. They just said them more plainly. I've been seeing such much more subdued costumes. Which, you know, I guess is a good thing, but I kind of miss the big costumes. Lots of race shirts, though. Way more than usual, I feel like. Um, I didn't get to film any of this yesterday because my camera was malfunctioning and that was very distracting. But this is the same entrance into the starting area as before. If you watched the 5K video, I talked about this new um, finish line shuttle to the trees. I honestly, I don't know if it's new, new, but it's new to me. Really like it. Are you doing it again? They're probably going to do it for all the races. Here's our finish line. Here's the scene. We're going to head into the starting area. Go to class. I woke up at the same time, but somehow I'm here 15 minutes earlier. I guess I was faster today. <laughs> Who knows? I don't think I showed any of this yesterday, but this past season, they have information, baby, baby care. Um, medical gear chat has some food trucks. That's the stage up there, and then they have the. So you're gonna go for Topi and the starting entrance. The, I mean, the entrance of the crowd is over here. Okay. What is? So they changed this a little bit this year with the start group opening times for the crowds. I think it's. I think it's working. I'm not sure. Fourteen forty one. Oh, my thing is
pretty long. I might not stay for the characters to ask, but we'll see. But real quick, there are food trucks here, coffee and stuff. And they also have the um, stand, you know, the Disney stuff, the whip, sorry, the Disney stand. The line for Belle is ridiculous. There's no line for fitment. Hi! But it is a good idea to take a picture or sometimes I even put an air tag in my car, I forgot this time. And also just kind of remember like about where in the lane you parked. <laughs> also helpful. <laughs> like mid, the end, towards the front. I kind of have to pee, but I also really want to go to Starbucks. So I might go to Starbucks and pee at Starbucks <laughs> instead of going through the truck. But this is the information you were hoping for. Um, I like going to get something warm when I've been... Um, I obviously sweat, like it's pretty humid today. It was a perfect temperature, really nice, but um, I sweat easily anyway. I'm a sweater and I was working. You don't think walking at 1430 pace for an hour and a half is working. <laughs> yeah, another thing coming, cause <laughs> that's working. But it was so fun. And uh, yeah, I think like a nice pumpkin chai would be really good right about now. Now, this hotel is so pretty. I'm staying at the Riviera. It's gorgeous. I I love it. So I ultimately decided against going to Starbucks because I remember they have a coffee. Oh, the wind. Hold on, the wind. I cannot film with the bastard wind. Uh, I remember they have a really nice coffee shop in the lobby here. And maybe I want to go do that. Right? See what they have, and if I don't like it, I'll just. Go to Joffrey's. I'm going to Epcot today. Because no run Disney race would be complete without showing you what's in the snack box. Uh, first of all, I just want to note that yesterday they had the previous branding snack boxes. And today we have the new branding snack boxes. So, you know, there's that. Of course, got Powerade. They have like every color. I like the yellow one personally. A water. Banana I will put used to tomorrow. This is mine. I forgot. I forgot to uh, consume it. It's okay. I still do. Um, is it the same as yesterday? It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same box. I really appreciate the chips. The chips is nice to have a little salty something. And the waffle for sure I will save for future races. But I probably, again, won't eat the other thing. We'll just start making a pile. A pile of Skittles and peanut butter crackers and fake cheats. Okay, I'm not gonna do an exceedingly long recap. I've seen this course before. Don't ask me which one, because I don't have that kind of memory, but <laughs> I've definitely done this course before. Three and a half miles is a long way before you hit a park, and you really just dip into Hollywood Studios. But I still really enjoyed it. The last, you know, two and a half miles of the race are really, really fun because you go from that little dip in Hollywood Studios, which gives you such a burst. I personally like the International Squeezeway. I know it's not everybody's favorite, but I just, it's interesting. It's different than being on like road. And I really like the boardwalk. I know some people don't like it because it's slippery. You just have to be careful. It, it's also slippery, so I get it. Um, but I just love the lights and it's just so beautiful. And then you're right in Epcot for the end. And it's just, Nothing's better. So I really enjoyed it. I really like the new finisher shoot. I, I, it sounds, I haven't really heard confirmation specifically from other Run Disney veterans, but I feel like it's new. I like going through the trees. I think it's nice. It, it's like, it adds a nice element. And it was just so fun. Like I said, I like flew through that. I don't know what my official run Disney resets are yet, because um, they have their own timing with the chip. Uh, but my watch, I went, I don't even know 
How do I look? I don't know. I'll put them up on the screen. I held a 1429 pace for at least 6.4 miles and walking. I said this on Instagram and I'll say it again. I felt like I was flying. I felt like it just felt so smooth and good and like nose breathing the whole time pretty much until I'm hitting the parks and then I'm just like so I'm not nose breathing anymore because my face is like lit up. Um, it's definitely more humid today so I feel like my heart rate kicked up a little bit because whenever it's any more hot or humid it does but still kept it in a really nice uh, you know zone two zone three range and I'm really happy. I feel really good now. I'm hoping I still feel good tomorrow. I'm really nervous about the half marathon, but man, I am on cloud nine after this. I love 10Ks. There, I can attest that even walking, it's still my fave. It's still my fave. And um, I'm really, like I said, I'm nervous, but I'm curious about how the half marathon will go. I did want to give you just one little closer look at this uh, medal because it's super cute. The ribbon again kind of goes with the theme of the 5K one with the yellow uh, on the one side. I, I don't know if they're going to do that for Encanto too, but that's kind of their background theming of the race, you know, branding this year. So I like that. Uh, very cute with Chip on there. It says 2023 Mrs. Potts and chips chip and mrs potts and then on the metal which is a spinner and again it's this like it's print it's printed they're printed metals but they feel a little i wonder if you stack them up with other metals if they'll chip because they have a tendency to chip huh get it chip chip chips um so i wouldn't wear them stacked you can buy like clips i've seen people buy clips and then like clip them so they're like in a row I just don't have enough like torso to do that, but it looks really cool. Um, but it's a spinner. Oh, I have it on backwards. This is uh, 2023. It says on that side, and then it has Cogsworth and Lumiere and Mrs. Potts and Chip. And I just, it's so cute. This, I don't know if this is coming out on. I'm so sorry. I've had to film on my phone this whole time, and I feel like my footage is like this today. So I apologize. Uh, marathon weekend and from then on should be much better because I have a new camera coming and my camera busted yesterday. My little pocket Osmo busted, but I have a new one coming. Um, so that's exciting, but it's blue. I don't know if you can tell. I really like this. I think it coordinates nicely with the, um, 5k metal and I look real nice hanging on my office wall. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a shower, get a quick stretch in, and then I'm going to head out um, like I said, I'm at the Riviera. You can kind of see a little bit here. And I'm going to go to Epcot and I'll bring you along with me. Um, I'm not planning on spending a whole lot of time. I want to make sure I get good rest in, especially with tomorrow's undertaking, <laughs> power walking half marathon, which I have not ever done. <laughs> so, uh, you know, something new. But uh, I got the Skyliner right here and, uh, well, we'll do it together. So I'm going to shower, stretch, change all that good good stuff. Eat, eat some Tostitos, and I'm gonna probably drink all of this right now. And my chapstick might fall over. Okay, 10K, two thumbs up. Another day, another race tech. I've layered up because it's gonna be warmer today. I've got a tank top underneath. I did yesterday too. I don't know if you watched that video. I just it never warmed up. But uh, cute 10K shirt. I don't tend to wear my medals around the parks because they clang on my stomach because of my curviness and I, I don't love it. But I like wearing the race tacks. I have a feeling I won't be wearing it for very long though. <laughs> you can see my tank top underneath. But I got my latest pair of BB Brook ears on. They are so cute. They're in a celebration of the 100th anniversary of Disney. I did not wash my hair today. So I don't wanna do that every day. And I just look, this is like the race pony. But we're going with it. Let's go to Epcot. Let's go to Disney, Disney. We're in full on creator mode today. Got the mic and everything. I really hope it's on. Is it on? Yes, it's on. Okay, so literally right outside where my room is, there's this beautiful area with the um, mosaic murals of Peter Pan and then uh, Rapunzel. It's just so pretty. This resort is so pretty. Oh, and the skyline is right there. That's which way I'm going. You can kind of see a little bit of the inner courtyard behind me. I think I'm going to be happy I have my mic today because it's very windy. Let me flip you around. Let me show you what we're looking at. 
All right, we're making our way to Epcot, so we want to go long to the left. What does that mean? I really don't know how this works. I thought we just got on. But maybe I go to a different one? I'm going to go ask. This is the one you just have to go around <laughs> to get on. Okay, look how fun. Yay. Oh, I see. So I think that one goes to Hollywood Studios, and the one over there goes to Epcot. Fun. I'm learning, you guys. I'm learning. I love this. <laughs> I'm gonna take a selfie here. Home girl got her own. What do we call this? Gondola? I wanna call it a gondola, but it's Skyliner. Oh, for four months. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> here we go. Oh, I love this. This is like a bona fide ride for me. Woo! I have taken this once before, and I remember she talks a lot. And she being like, this person here. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Riviera Resort. If you're just joining us, we are on our way to Epcot. Right, so there's not much I want to do today aside from eating. I decided not to do the coffee because I want to get to the parks early. I didn't feel like buying Genie Plus today because I only really want to do Soren over California. She's back. We are now trying. I'll give you a different vantage point here. You can see Hollywood Studios. Um, before she comes back. Uh, so they have Soarin' Over California here, which is so confusing because I was when I was in Disneyland last month with my children, it was regular Soarin'. But here in Florida, it's sort of, I don't know. <laughs> so I, I want to do that, and I did buy the Lightning Lane for Guardians. It was $15. To me, that's worth it, because especially because I'm not buying Genie Plus, and I did not think to get in a virtual queue this morning when I was you know, making my way out of the race stuff. But let's go have some fun and eat some food. Soren first and then food. Oh, came to a bit of a stop. Here you can kind of see. Oh, there she is again. She likes to talk. We are now arriving at Epcot. Thank you. Anywho, as I was saying, we're just getting into Epcot. You can kind of see a little bit of World Showcase. There's Spaceship Earth over there. My plans might be foiled because it doesn't look like Soren is running right now. There's only 25 minute wait for Frozen. There's only a 30 minute wait for Ratatouille, so I might go do one of those first. I, ha, huh, I'm not sure. I'm gonna tap in and then we'll go from there. We are. Oh, she said the thing and I missed it. I'm like a Skyliner view in the morning. And guess what I get to say all day, at least to myself and maybe a little bit to you. I ran here this morning. <laughs> Your girl's a pass holder, did I mention that? I got my pass holder last. This April? This April. Welcome home. <laughs> so funny the thing, I was just here. All right, I'm gonna look again. Uh, oh right, they're only letting, it's still early entrance for resort guests. And fortunately I am a resort guest, so I'm gonna go in and then we'll go from there. It is gorgeous out right now. So with early entry, they just scan your magic band or your room key or whatever. And um, Soren opened up, so I'm gonna head over there. It is Saturday, so it's gonna get significantly more crowded in like 10 minutes when the park opens to general admission, but it's nice to walk through, get a little view. Huh, I just love it, such a vibe. If you're a Disney person, you get it. If you get it, you get it, you know? Okay, so plan, back to plan A. I go to Soren. Do that first. I don't think my, it's like not even nine yet. I don't think my Guardians thing is available until like 1045 or something like that. So then I'll have time to get something nice to drink. Like maybe a coffee would be nice. <laughs> I gotta find the Joffreys around here. And, uh, or maybe there's something in the Food and Wine Festival I could find. Oh, I didn't get a booklet for that. I need to look for that too. And uh, get some food. I'm hungry. And that's really the only things I'm gonna do here today, I think. I, who knows, I might go on Spaceship Earth or Living with the Land, because those are fun. But really, I just wanna do Soren and Guardians and eat and then rest. Oh, there's Joffrey's. I don't have a much longer line later today, but gotta get to Soren first. I also just remember the new Moana thing is here, but I'm coming back with my kids fairly soon, actually, and I have a feeling we'll do that then. Um, so I'm not gonna really prioritize that today. I am curious to see it. I've seen a couple pictures online that looks 
school. I think my kids will really like it though, so we'll definitely prioritize that when we're here. So much Disney <laughs> this year and next year planned. I'm, guys, I'm living my best life. You know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. You gotta live while the living is good because it is not guaranteed. And life is a chaos lottery. You just never know. So, you know, act responsibly with your finances. Do what makes you happy. You know, this makes me happy. I know not everybody gets it and I can respect that, but I also respect that I don't get what makes other people happy too. So, if we all just held each other with a little bit more grace, I just, what a world it would be. All right, almost at Soren. I'm so excited. Soren over California. I'm not gonna film it because I want to enjoy it, but it's the one where it's over California with the orange smell and everything <laughs> that I thought we would see at California Adventure in Disneyland and wasn't there. The land, just like 80s, like height of the 80s styling. I love it. <laughs> Here we go. Hello and welcome to Soarin'. My name is Patrick and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. That was so fun. I love Soarin' over California. What do you like better? Do you like the original one or do you like the... Well, which one is the original one? I don't even know. I'm not going to linger here because I'm super hungry and uh, would like to go to the front of the park to get a... I'm guessing they must have a booklet, right? Like a food and wine booklet, don't they? So I'm gonna go look for that. And I noticed they have one specialty coffee drink all the way over in American Show Place um, at the Joffrey Sayre. That looks right up my alley. So I might just walk around and get food until my guardian's time. I'm so hungry. Look at Spaceship Earth looking so pretty this morning. There's the newness. I am gonna save it to do it with my kids. I think that's kind of fun to do new things together. Oh, you can meet Moana, look. Um, so I'm gonna save it. We'll see, <laughs> maybe you won't want to do it, but I'm gonna be back here for so many more run Disney events in 2024 that there'll be more opportunities. Okay, here they are. All right, sorry. Oh, look at this. Ta-da! Yay! Okay, let's look at what there is to get. I'm so can I say I'm hungry a few more times? Man, that 10K made me real hungry. There she is. What a beautiful day. Okay, here's my plan. I'm coming back here tomorrow to eat as well. Uh, so I'm not gonna like panic too much. Panic, like I'm panicking at Disney World. I'm not gonna worry too much about getting, um, you know, everything I want today. I'm just gonna eat until I'm full and then we'll eat the other places tomorrow uh, that I'm interested in. Obviously, I won't get to eat everything, but um, it looks like there is a specialty coffee drink right at the start, if I'm understanding the map correctly. So, I would like that. That sounds nice. Well, just, you know, I'm sure I won't go hungry. Okay. Took my picture with the Mickey statue. Now I'm having a ball. Soaring over California. I had such a good morning. Oh my gosh. The race this morning. It's just perfect. And now it's so beautiful out. And I'm just so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful to be here. Let's go find this horchata coffee thing. My plan is slightly foiled. Only because the food doesn't open until 11. And I'm really hungry. <laughs> but... The Joffrey's is open. I kind of want the one that's in World Showcase. They have a, a several, a couple special coffee drinks. But the one in American Adventure is a nutty caramel mocha cold brew. I think I want that. Um, the one right here, not here, that's a character. Oh, that's Wish. Hold on. It's the new Wish character. Oh. Okay, so this is. The Java horchata. 
which does sound good and it's not a long line, but I really want this nutty caramel thing and I've got I've got an hour till my guardians and over an hour until the rest of the food opens. <laughs> my plan was foiled. <laughs> it's okay. Look how beautiful it is. This morning. We'll head over to America, get my cold brew. That'll fill me up a little and then I'll walk all the way back. <laughs> to do Guardians and then I'll come eat. Maybe it's better if I don't eat before Guardians because it's a bit of a dizzy ride. I will say this until the end of my days, but I far, far prefer coming with my children. That's my absolute favorite is doing anything with them, but especially doing Disney with them. It's just, it's why we have so many Disney trips planned, cruises, Disneyland we just did, Disney World coming up. So much on the horizon and it's just, they're five and seven and I feel like I can't I think I said this, well, maybe it was a, a patron only vlog. I have a Patreon community where they get a lot more personal content, but I feel like we're in the, we're in the pocket. Not that this isn't personal. I just share travel stuff here. I share more like home stuff over there. There's always a link below if you're interested. Anywho, I feel like we're in the pocket. Five and seven with the Disney magic. I'm still in that pocket at age 40, but they, it just, Living it through their eyes, so there's nothing better. There's just really nothing better. Anyway, um, I do enjoy bringing myself to, to Disney solo as well. It is, it's fun. I've definitely gotten more comfortable with it in the last, I mean, when I came to Wine and Dine in 2021, I was so, I came to Epcot for like 10 minutes and I was so overwhelmed I left. So even in the last two years, I've made huge progress in just how I deal with solo travel generally and crowds and all of that. But um, now I find myself like really, really enjoying it. And what I like is that it's just so casual. I can just do whatever, whenever. And that's really nice. Like I said, I would far, 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 far prefer being here with my kids, but just being able to do whatever you want, whenever. That's also a beautiful thing. I like, I like having both. I'll take both, please. I don't really want to film somebody else's kid face on, but if I can help it. But there's um, Snow White over there. Also, if you ever want like a really, really yummy treat, the caramel popcorn in this place is unreal. I don't think I can stomach that today, <laughs> but I might come back tomorrow for it. I do remember that Adam Hatton said to get the Apple caramel Werther's. Hold on. These. Well, maybe I'll buy those later. It smells so good in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Is it a Steve? 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 <gasps> it's a Steve Dumbo? That is probably not cheap. Oh, it's not bad for Oh, I love him. Okay, I might be coming back later for caramel and. We gotta have our Dumbo mask on. I will get on my soapbox and preach all day about stuffed animals are for everybody. Magic is for everybody. Do what you want. Make yourself happy. Seriously. I'm feeling this so much right now because the world is just so intense and everything feels very tense. And you just, I think it's just really important to, you know, let yourself be frivolous. You gotta be serious all the time, pretty much, most all of the time, just to like do life. So let yourself be frivolous. I'm feeling very soapboxy about this. <laughs> I apologize. But uh, I am going back for that Dumbo, for sure, and the caramel. That, those are the biggest service dogs I've ever seen. They're Great Dane. Okay, well, I'm not gonna film these people, but there are Great Dane service dogs here. All right, here it is. Mm, that looks, that looks kind of gross to be honest. I'm not gonna get it anyway. Walked all over here, I might as well get it. You know, look at this marvel. This is a sight to behold. There's a lot of things happening in there. Lots of flavors. So it's still not even 10. I still have an hour until my guardian's window opens and over an hour until the food opens. Ratatouille has a 35 minute wait. Right? Shouldn't I just go do that? I'm almost there. 
I think that might be the thing to do. Okay, look, they're setting up the barges for the, I think those are for the new show that's coming. I think I'll be able to catch it marathon weekend. I don't know though, never listen to me for like <laughs> timing advice because I'm always the last to know. This is one of my favorite areas here. Uh, Japan, Japan, I just, I love running through Japan too. There it is again, I'm gonna talk more about running. Oh, there's Belle. Look, they got all the, all the ladies out this morning. All right, let's check out Ratatouille because I just, I have time. So we'll check it out. By the way, this got significantly better when it like all mixed together. The first sip was like, woo, it was better. Hmm, this says 55 minutes. I'm not waiting for that. Nope. Nope. Well, I've done a full loop. I didn't want to wait in that line. That was, no, no thanks. So I'm heading back to do Living with the Land and maybe Spaceship Earth. I'm just gonna do a couple loops of the whole park. You know, cause I'm taking it easy today. It's 10 and I've already walked 25,000 steps. <laughs> yeah. All right. To the land we go. For your safety, are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future due to growing in less than ideal conditions. Account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Official insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. I always forget how long that ride is. I really like it and it was nice to sit. <laughs> For a minute, that felt really good. It's actually time now. I have about eight minutes till my lightning lane opens, so I'm just gonna, it'll take me probably at least half that to walk over there. I'll walk over there, do some guardians, and then finally, at long last, we'll go eat. <sighs> now look at the line for this Joffrey's. Holy smokes. Well, Perfect timing, just a couple minutes to spare. Almost at Guardians. There it is. Obviously, I'm not going to film in there either. It's just more than I can manage. And I feel like it kind of ruins the ride. Like the land, you show a few clips of them, and people are like, okay. You show any of this, people are like, mm. Anyway, I have just like two minutes. And I'm going to go in. I'm excited. I've done this one time. It's really fun, really fun ride. Um, but if you are prone to motion sickness, do not recommend. <laughs> that ride is so good. I think it's, in my, for me, it's the best roller coaster in Disney World now. Used to say that about rock and roller coaster, although in its defense I haven't been on it in years, I feel like. But this is like, if, I love Space Mountain too, I'm a Space Mountain stan. Both actually kind of prefer the Disneyland one. Um, I haven't done that in a long time either. But this is like Space Mountain on steroids. It's so fun. Ah, I am glad I didn't eat before it though. It's so fun. I love roller coasters, I'm a ride person. But if you're not a ride person, do not recommend. If you're a ride person, absolutely worth the $15. So even with, so with, I've done virtual queue last time. And it took like an hour and a half to get through virtual queue. Like after the queue was called and I was in the line, it still took that long to get in. But with Lightning Lane, it took about 35 minutes from the time I tapped in to the time I sat in the seat for the ride. So just so you know, like still plan, even with Lightning Lane, still plan some time around it and definitely use the bathroom before <laughs> you have to go. Don't wait. All right, I'm heading back into World Showcase. The lines for the booths that are still like in that part of the park were not so, so long. Oh, there, this is Saturday, so it's going to be longer lines. I'm so hungry. I need to eat something. I'll figure it out. Okay, I'm going for the bow bun, crispy dough. The line, my friends, the line. Look, they have bubble tea. I mean, the bubble tea and the bow bun. Oh, that looks yummy. All right, you guys, this is the crispy duck bao bun and the um, passion fruit bubble tea. All that costs $15.50. That line, I was only in for two minutes. It looked so long, but they moved real quick. Look at this view. That was a really good, very tasty bite. 
see what's next. This is also very refreshing. Happy camper now. It was like three bites, but I'll take it. It was so good. I love a good bao bun. I don't have, I don't get that very often. It's yummy. Forget. All right, let's see what's up next. Don't worry. I spilled all over myself. <laughs> Are you at a food festival if you don't have spills all the way down your shirt? I don't think so. What's a raclette? I don't know, but I like cornichon. Let's try this. Changed my mind. Got out of line. Getting in the next line for this bratwurst. Okay, it looks a lot less pretty now that I smeared the must. They give you a lot of mustard, man. But that's the bratwurst. Six dollars. Ooh, I want two things here. I think I have two things. Line's a lot shorter over here. The lines are a lot shorter over here. Oh, don't lose your fears. Bratwurst was good. This is like the tiniest bratwurst you've ever seen. But it was actually a nice portion for $6, I thought. I don't know. The prices are like high, medium. No, medium, high. I don't know, one of those. These are actually really, really big portions. So um, this is a seafood salad. And that's the charcuterie in a cup. $12.75 for both. They look good. I'm sitting, I found a bench, which feels nice, and I'm sitting in Italy here. This might be all the food that I need right now. Uh, <laughs> so I'm very happy though. That was my favorite of all the food. The seafood style was fantastic, highly recommend. But the charcuterie in a cup won, won for me today. That was just the way, I mean, you just think like meat, cheese, olives, whatever. But they seasoned it so beautifully. Oh, it was so good. Really recommend that one. I guess the food and wine is only on for another couple weeks. I don't know, by the time this video goes up, it might be over. But speaking of over, I'm done. I'm done for the day. It's, um, gosh, what time is it? It's 12.30, but I'm gonna head back now. Um, I've eaten more than enough, and I have did all the rides I really wanted to do, just the two, but so fun. And now it's getting like super crowded. I'm ready for a rest. Um, I have a, a live with my community, my Patreons, Patreon community, or the With Wonder community today um, in a few hours, and I just need to get off my feet. So I think I might just relax for the rest of the day and take the Skyliner back, you know? This was fun. I hope you enjoyed coming with me on this 10K day. I already put in like 31,000 steps since 12.30. That's enough. That's enough for one day. The next day. Good morning. It's 2.45 in the morning. And I'm really nervous. It's about to be the Run Disney One Day and Half Marathon. And I'm power walking it for the first time ever, power walking this distance. And I'm extremely nervous. <laughs> but I'm going to have fun. I'm going to do my best, and we'll see. I am bounding Isabella. It's an Encanto theme today. Uh, but it's Isabella when she's been set free uh, with the with her creativity um so yeah i've got this little num this little number on it's a little staticky this morning i don't know it's humid in florida so i don't know where the static is coming from but look at these ears aren't they cute uh okay i gotta get myself together and go have dress and ears will power walk i've got the usual bits and bobs i have my Donatable layer to wear at the start. Gloves, also donatable. Poncho, I'm probably not gonna need, I'm gonna bring in the car. Wallet, key, magic band. I'm gonna throw my Mylar in there. It's a little cooler this morning. Um, I've got my Corral breakfast and two gels. We'll see. Um, in my other pocket, I will put chapstick and then I have an extra Band-Aid. I have shredded bottom of my big toe so it's all wrapped up that's just in case that comes off and then two salt tabs just in case and I have others I was gonna bring up I feel like I'm gonna be out so long that it's gonna be bright and sunny but I don't know if I want to bring my other sunglasses um I think I might leave them and my AG1 I'm gonna drink in the car oh I am nervous okay let's go look down crazy this morning look at that the view from the parking lot. It's one of my favorite things, you know? Just walking in and seeing this makes me feel a little better. 
the snow overnight. <laughs> just to remind me. We're all here at 3 a.m. It's the middle of the night. Just want to show the finish since it's really hard for me to film it on my phone. My little camera up and tied on me on the morning of the 5K. Uh, but we run past. That's where the announcers are. And usually there's a character standing right up there. Fun times. Just FYI. Uh, so you know you where to go at least. Oh, but you know, you've got your gear check, your medical tech, your information, okay. your food and love, and I are to be on the same page. The doctor might not be, but my team. Corral time. So we are breaking all time. <laughs> there are bathrooms, so if you need them, by the way, like about a thousand, so there you go. That's fine. Right, right, that's, that's fine. That's fine. But you know what? Let's Just celebrate someone else up so here on stage with us. Let's give it up for. Would you join me as one of the sisters? And I'm like, okay, I just starting out. I was like, hey. I don't think I can do a wig. I don't wouldn't be able to do Isabella Justice. Can I be Luis? He's like, absolutely no problem. You gotta wear props. Start to set these people. You are not a star. The line of God out there, I thought, and three, two, one. Other fun stuff. And we have had just about mile two. I see the marker up there. So that's a nice boost. Lab two, 1541. It's talking to me. Yeah, I'm in Yes! Now I show the same things all the time. It really is a vibe. Beautiful. 
Oh, wow. I didn't think about that. Seven. Seven o'clock, so, you know, important things like booking your guardians on the galaxy lightning lane. Do you want to walk by eight? I was thinking, walking. Oh, my better if I take them off to show you. The medals are awesome. They definitely go well with the 5k and the 10k medal in terms of like the look, you know, although this one does not have the yellow ribbon on one side, it just has the green. Oh, I didn't even notice this. It says the magic is in you. Oh, I love that. And then this is so cute. It's actually a little swing away uh, Mirabelle swings away and you see Bruno there and then it magnetizes back up. 
How cute is that? So cute. And the ribbon says, oh, wine and dine 2023 with Mirabelle and Bruno. And then the challenge medal. I heard rumors that it has had a light and guess what it does. So it has a two-tone ribbon with figments colors. This figment was the mascot <laughs> character for the for the challenge and um oh it's so cute i love the running oh you can't see the running fruit and the cupcake it's so cute but look okay so looks nice right this is heavy this is like a nice metal the little light goes out on the bottom da 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 do 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 what's how does this one go i don't know I don't know, like, I think I said this at some point or time. I'm not, like, a huge figment fan. I have nothing against figment, but I'm not, like, some people, you know, like, that's their thing. And I, I totally get that. But uh, I think it's very cute, and I think it was a really good, um, he was a really good race, uh, I mean, challenge, uh, mos mas mascot, that's the word. I was going to say mos mascot. <laughs> that's not the word. <laughs> Anyway, it went really well. Uh, I held, so my watch pace is totally different. <laughs> well, not totally, but it's not, it's not the exact same as the Run Disney pacing that they, that they get. I, I really don't care, but I just go by my watch because that's what I use every day at home for training, for walking, for running, for whatever. Um, so my watch said that I went, I think it was like 13.4 miles or so I'm not I mean I'm filming on my phone so I can't see it um and I held like a 1537 pace which is perfect uh my heart rate stayed really nice and low I never felt like hot I feel like I didn't shuffle shuffle as much this race because uh the photo apps were mostly in the beginning and it was a lot of road so you know, you're right in Epcot at the start and then you go over the boardwalk right over to Hollywood Studios and that's so fun. I love running through Hollywood Studios, especially the Toy Story bit with the lights. That's my favorite. It's fun to run through Star Wars. I just remember being like so freaked out at how slippery it was last year. I think it was during the springtime surprise. It was like wet and it was very slippery. So I'm just like a little, <laughs> I don't know. That stuck with me apparently. But the um, the lights under, I mean over Toy Story Land, the big Christmas light bulbs, ah, such a vibe, I love it. And then, so we popped out of there, it was like about mile five, I feel like. And then we didn't go back into Epcot until mile 12. So seven miles on the road and it was a lot of ramps. Man, you feel those ramps in your shins when you're like, walking or running at like on the, you know, cantilevered as they say, uh, or whatever, <laughs> I don't know. But it was good. I just, I felt like I was so joyous and during the 5K and the 10K, and the 10K was like exuberant. And I was just so nervous and worried about today that I felt very kind of more, um, I don't wanna say like a, a little bit more serious, just like a little, I was just focused on keeping my mind calm because um, I wanted to keep my headspace good and I was so nervous about it that um, that that's where I went to I went to like Just a little bit more subdued. Maybe not serious. Just more subdued, but it was still so joyful and Man crossing that finish line was just emotional <laughs> for me. I cried I cried it was I Mean, I'm just honestly I'm surprised that I was able to do this today. I know I'm very capable of lots of things, but I really like when I when you're dealing with an injury, it just like throws a wrench into all your plans and it's been so long and I still have some time to go before I can really run again. I don't know what the rest of the season looks like for running, but I feel so confident now that I can at least walk um, pretty successfully. I mean, we'll see how this shakes out in the next few days. Sometimes things don't like pop crop up until one or two or even three days later, but I feel pretty solid and um, I'm not at all winded. I I just feel really, like I didn't even like sweat that much and I sweat even just like standing in a hot space, but it was perfect weather. It was beautiful. You guys, it was perfect. And 
it was so, it was just like a, I felt like I had lots of fun conversations. They were fleeting, of course, because people were moving past me. But um, I met so many of you on the course too. But I also like interacted with people who have absolutely no clue who I am. <laughs> and that was fun too. And it was just, felt like a very positive vibe. So now it's uh, going on 10. It took me a half an hour to get home with the traffic, to get home, to get to here home. The traffic is usually a seven minute drive. <laughs> it took half an hour. It's fine. I, I, I'm not showing you the box or anything. It's the same exact box, box as the last two days. And I ate the chips and even the peanut butter crackers, which I haven't touched the other ones from the other days, but I was just so hungry in the car on the way back. And I drank both the water and the power. I, they're just, it's all gone. So <laughs> that was helpful because I was stuck in traffic and I was like, I'm hungry. Oh wait, I have food. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not showing you those things, but just if you miss the other, it's the same. And now I'm gonna let myself just decompress. Now I'm gonna head to the parks later, just the park. I'm gonna go to Epcot later. I have a capture moment scheduled uh, for later this afternoon. I'm gonna bring all my medals. I did one at Spring 10 Surprise uh, over at Hollywood Studios and it was such a fun and positive experience. And I just, it's nice to have those pictures when I don't have, um, somebody to take them for me who's you know like a buddy with me uh so i'm happy to pay for that service and it's just you get you get shots you wouldn't get otherwise and it's just fun so uh, i'm gonna do that later and i did book a lightning lane again for guardians at five so i figured that i'd you know have my nice pictures taken and then let my hair go crazy in the ride and not have to worry about it but yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna do a nice stretch now and then i actually think i'm gonna take a bath now and kind of, you know, get organized. I have a, a very early flight in the morning. I don't like to fly on the same day that I exert myself so much if I can manage it, but I do have to go home and be on mommy duty. So I have an early flight. Um, probably gonna eat a little bit at Epcot. You know, like I'm gonna do laundry now too. Like it's nice to have, I have a one bedroom villa here at the Riviera. So it's nice to have a laundry machine. I'm gonna do laundry and pack up my owner's locker and to pack up my bag too and uh, get ready to mosey on home. So you guys, I I don't think I'm gonna film anymore today. I just, I wanna give myself a little break because <laughs> I've been filming for the past four days in a row. Um, and I just, I need a little, a moment to myself. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this video. I might just tack it onto the 10K video and make it really long. I don't know. This is a new way for me to capture th th these trips anyway, so I'm still kind of working it out, but I feel like I need to give myself at least a little time to just go and be and not be on. And I think today is the day for that. But I do want you to know that it has been such a joy to bring you along with me as it always is. It means so much to me to be able to share these things with you. And to everybody who said hi, who watches, I just, I appreciate so much. I appreciate you so much. I hope you had a magical race and a wonderful time here. And I know a lot of you said, I'll be seeing you later in the season. So I hope to see you when I see you on our Run Disney Paths Cross again. And to everybody else, I'm wishing you just the most magical miles or moments or both, preferably, uh, whatever makes sense to you. Uh, I just, I'm wishing, I'm hoping for that for you. A little magic sprinkled into your day in whatever way uh, that brings you joy. And um, thank you for coming along with me on this journey. It means so much, like I said. All right, friends, take very good care. Bye now.